Hey guys, how are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Dan, and by the way, it's snowing outside, finally. I was waiting for this moment. The lighting is not that great, but it's still okay. Today I'm gonna review this Apollo's Choice Extra Care Non-Greasy Sunscreen. Uh, before I start the review, please consider following me on Instagram. By the way, I got a new Insta Instagram. Um, for the skincare content, so you may you may check me out there. I have a Facebook account, uh, subscribe to this channel, definitely if you wanna see more videos like this, videos related to skincare, nutrition, supplements, and also ring that bell, guys, ring that bell so you get notified every time I post something. Okay, so uh, I guess I'm gonna start as always with the packaging, very nice, very convenient, just open it up this way, apply the product. I like this color also, just side note, um, now, the price, the price for this one, I, I have no idea, I think I paid around $22, $23, and you get 150 mils, which is 5 fluid ounces, so this is probably one of the most affordable Paula's Choice products, they have really high prices for, for some of their products, but you get a pretty good amount, and 20, 20 something dollar for this one, dollars for this one, it is not bad, definitely not bad, that's why I bought it actually. Uh, now, in terms of irritant ingredients, we don't have that in here. Paula's Choice is very great when it comes to fragrance-free product, alcohol-free. This doesn't have any of those, and I'm always glad to see that. Now, in terms of uh, UV filters, this is a completely chemical or organic sunscreen. We have five UV chemical filters. We have avobenzone. Homosalate, octisalate, octocrylene, and, and oxybenzone. Um, it's good that they included uh, five filters because uh, it's going to offer uh, better protection, uh, a wider spectrum of protection, UVA and UVB. And also, when you include a lot of filters, the concentration is not going to be that high, so it's going to be more suitable for sensitive skin types. It's uh, the risk of irritation is lower because you have lower concentration of each. Uh, chemical filter when you include a lot of them. So that's a good thing. This one is not coral reef safe. Yeah, it is not. It has uh, oxybenzone. However, that is pretty much a myth. Like, uh, you would need a huge amount of sun. You would need all the sunscreen in the world multiplied by, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of times or something like that. You need a huge amount. It's so, it's extremely, extremely unlikely for sunscreen to actually cause a coral um, coral reef bleaching. I think that's how I pronounce it. Okay, uh, actually, uh, Michelle from Lab Muffin Beauty has a video. I'm gonna link it down below so you can check it out. But this is basically a myth. There are no studies to back it up. Uh, there are studies actually proving that sunscreen is not harmful to coral, coral reefs. Uh, reef. <laughs> yeah, but this is just basically a marketing tactic for skincare companies and also uh, we need to focus on more important things when it comes to coral, coral reefs like global warming that's such such a more a, a much more impactful I think that's, a, that's the word <laughs> my English is not that great today global warming excessive fishing also um, throwing all the trash into the ocean that's that's gonna mess up with the coral reefs, not, not the sunscreen. So that's basically a myth. Uh, Paula's Choice claims this one is uh, for face and body. It has antioxidants. It is for all skin types, water resistant, 80 minutes. Silky lotion sets to a soft matte finish. I'm gonna talk about that later. It's not that matte. Ideal for sports and outdoor activities. I'm gonna take a look at the ingredient list so I can point the antioxidants. Uh, this one has also, besides the chemical filters, it has some butylene glycol, which is a good humectant and penetration enhancer. It has it has a methicon, so for people that are trying to avoid uh, silicones, this one is not going to be a good one for you. It has silica, which is going to make this product not so greasy, I, I guess. Uh, now, we have some Pichia AX Chesam. How do I pronounce this one? Pichia Excelsa wood extract. This is basically an antioxidant. We have sodium ascorbophosphate, which is a vitamin C derivative, another antioxidant. Ret retinyl palmitate, which is a form of vitamin A. It, 
it needs three conversions to, to be transformed into retinoic acid into our skin. We have some vitamin E, we have some aloe juice, uh, pretty good ingredient list. I mean, uh, it's not a huge amount of antioxidants, however, there are some in there and uh, that's actually a good thing. It's gonna increase the protection of the sunscreen. It's gonna fight those free radicals. Now, when it comes to the texture of this one, it is pretty liquidy, I guess you can hear. By the way, I got all these new pimples. My diet has been so bad lately, and also I've been trying a lot of new products, and my skin doesn't really like that. But I got so many here, some here, this one, it's not cured. I also feel like my pores are, they don't look that great. Um, so, I'm gonna show you the texture. Now, when I closed the package, this happened. It's not so convenient because it's liquidy, but what can I do about it? The texture is nice. However, it is not matte. Definitely not matte. I mean, I think it also depends on the skin type. For example, I'm super oily. I cannot wear this one on my face because, first of all, I have fungal acne and this one is not fungal acne safe. But also, like I said, I'm pretty greasy and uh, I'm pretty oily. It spreads really nice, has a very nice texture. Uh, my mom, for example, loves this one. It, it's not matte on her skin, but it, it gives her this really nice glow. It is not uh, greasy, it's not oily on her skin, but it is not matte either. It's kind of like dewy and she likes that. It gives her this very nice glow. Uh, this actually look, looks really good on my hand. You can see uh, this is the one with sunscreen. It doesn't have a white cast. Now, if you are super oily, I mean, you can give this one a shot, you can try it on your face. Um, however, it's not, it's not gonna be matte, definitely not matte. Now, I am gonna, um, how should I say this? I'm gonna put it this way. If you compare this sunscreen to all the lightweight Korean sunscreens, this is definitely a, a little bit heavier, a little bit greasier. Uh, however, Korean sunscreens, most of them, they are not water resistant. And for a water resistant sunscreen, this one has an amazing texture actually. I don't think I've ever tried uh, a, a water resistant sunscreen that is so lightweight and it offers this finish. That, that's for sure. Yeah, I love wearing this one on my body, especially when I'm working out outside. It's not sticky. Um, it definitely doesn't look matte. Because Paula, uh, Paula claims this one is matte, it, it's definitely, I don't really agree with that. I guess it depends, maybe people with dry skin are, are gonna find this one pretty matte on their skin. I really doubt that, but who knows. Um, yeah, basically that's my review for this one. It's definitely worth buying, pretty nice texture, um, no fragrance, no alcohol, pretty good ingredient list. The addition of antioxidants, it's pretty nice. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed my review. I hope you find it helpful. If you did so, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you ever tried this one, what do you think about it, what other sunscreens I should check, what other products I should check. Uh, leave some questions in the comments below. I'm gonna address those in future videos or I'm gonna answer to those in the comments below. I love you all and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.